All right, so we just came one step closer to bringing the woolly mammoth back to life. Let me explain. So it all starts with this company in Texas called Colossal Biosciences. They're just like Jurassic Park of today, minus the chaos, hopefully. Their big goal is to bring back extinct animals, like the woolly mammoth, using genetic engineering. But before they can just slap mammoth DNA into an elephant, they needed to test if mammoth genes actually work. That's where the woolly mouse idea came in. Well, what the woolly mouse does is it proves that our end-to-end -end process of understanding computational biology from this ancient DNA, making the edits, and then screening the embryos so that they're healthy, and we and we produce living, healthy animals works. And it would also work in one month. So we started the project in September. In October, we had our first mice, and they had exactly the number of edits we targeted with 100% efficiency, and the exact phenotypes or physical attributes that we're looking for, which right. is a validation of all the edits we're making in the mammoth already. Here's the basic rundown. Colossal Biosciences, based in Texas, found the DNA of the woolly mammoth's remains frozen in ice in Siberia. They identified the special genes mammoths had for surviving the cold, like ones for thick fur, fat storage, and cold resistance. Before testing on big animals like elephants, they used lab mice because mice are small, breed fast, and are easy to study. They edited the mouse embryos with those mammoth genes using a tool called CRISPR, basically molecular scissors that snip down and add DNA. The baby mice were born and boom, they grew extra thick woolly fur, similar to what a mammoth would have. This experiment proved the mammoth genes still work after thousands of years. It's pretty amazing that Colossal Biosciences are able to figure this out. And I hope you learned something new. But that's where I'm going to end off today's video. So long, folks. Bye.